In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft Exchange Server 2013 on a Windows Server 2012 R2 uh, Windows box. So I have those two boxes ready. Now on a Windows 10 computer, I RDP to the first computer. I'm going to promote it to a domain controller. So I, I'm RDPing into that first computer this computer has the name of DC 2012 so first step I open the command prom and show you the host name which is DC 2012 right there and I show the IP config just to make sure that I have good LAN IP addresses I'm gonna open the um, uh, connection wizard and disable all the unused connection and rename the LAN connection and also I need to check the TCP IP settings just to make sure that I have IP address set correctly 10.0.0.2 for this computer and the default gateway is 10.0.0.1 I'm gonna ping the default gateway just to make sure I get a reply and I also ping uh, an external host on the internet just to make sure that I have internet connectivity on my uh, computer after all these steps I'm gonna open uh, server manager this is where I add the uh, 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 roles and features. I'm gonna add roles. Uh, I'm gonna add two roles to this server. One is called ADDS, Active Directory Domain Services. The other role is called DNS. DNS is the the must-have a requirement for Active Directory Domain Services to operate. So I'm gonna choose those two roles. I click next. I leave the uh, setting as default and click on restart when required that mean there are some uh, restart I think at least once the system uh, need to be restarted to take effect so instead of prompting us to restart we need to click on the uh, automatically restart button just to make sure that it restart and when the installation is complete we need to do the post installation configuration uh, this is to set up active directory I set up a new forest called the laris.logo click next and I am asked for forest and domain functional level I just leave it as the Windows Server 2012 R2 this is the new newest um, uh, environment I don't have a mixture of old environment in it so that's okay I enter the, the use the password for administrator for the domain just for recovery purposes Now the NetBIOS name is, is going to be Delaris, and I leave the uh, database location as default. Click next, and I review all the settings and click next again and wait. Wait for the check to go through, and after everything is checked, I click install. So right now those two rows are being installed. I wait for a couple of minutes. now the computer automatically restart 
So you click OK to restart. Now I'm going to log back into the server just to check. I log in this time as Dalaris backslash administrator. That means I log in as the domain administrator. Right now I'm logged into the domain controller with the administrator with the domain administrator credential so I open the command prompt I want to show you the host name again and the IP configuration uh, of my computer. You notice that the the DNS has changed to localhost. So it is itself the DNS server for the environment. I also open the TCP IP configuration and I check and I can see the same thing that uh, the DNS server has been changed to itself. 